ओम वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटिश निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकार्यु सर्वदा सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरधे कावरूपिणी विद्यारंभं करिष्या सिद्धिर्भवत मे सदा साक्षात्त दयानंद परमास्वूपिण तत्व प्रशास्ता प्रणतस्मि परम पदम वागर्थाव संपृक्त वागर्थ प्रतिपत्त जगत पिता वंदे पार्वती परमेशर येनाक्षर सधिगम्य महेशरा कृष्ण व्याकरण प्रोक्त तस्म पाणिन नम वाक्यकार वरुचि भाष्यकार पतंजलि पाणिनी सूत्रकार प्रणतस्म मुन ओं सहना सहन भुन सह वीकर वह तेजस्वे तमस्तमाशा वह ओं शात शात शाति धातु स्त्रीलिंग आकारा स्त्रीलिंग का विवक्षा अपेक्षते संहिता विवक्ष intention of the speaker vyaksham apekshate a sandhi is not a must in the sentence between a word between the words in a sentence sandhi is not a must that is what vyaksham apekshate tasya ke ar tasya vyaksham vattu ko vyaksha it's not given you have to understand but sa is samhita that is not vakya okay anyway this uh, See the Benjana Sandhi. So many things we have seen. All the different different rules. See, in spite of having taught this even to the advanced class, I am saying many rules. Many many rules. I mean, uh, the some of the rules, not many rules. Many rules they remember. I would say, but are you also will remember? The some rules are there which are you don't which are not uh, very frequently we use. No? <coughs> that uh, you will not remember so whatever rules we have seen that requires constant visits you have to go through this sandhi chart again and again it is not just one time is over sandhi finished close it no you have to visit the rules again and again so that 
that becomes more and more clear. Doubts will always will be there. I tell you, with regard to Sandhi, you will have doubts. Even if you study further advanced, if doubts will be there. So it requires constant visits. Again, again, you have to come and read the, the rules, write the sutram. So that keeps you awake with regard to Sandhi. Okay, now we are going to learn uh, more Sandhi, new, new rules. So don't forget the, the previous rules. All the previous rules, I have to take it for granted, okay? So what we have seen, that you know, with that assumption, we will move forward. Now, 29th rule in the chart. And it is, uh, topic is, it's a general vidhi, I have written, general vidhi is, you will see mainly Vengana Sandhi. Because Achandi covered, that is Swarasandhi. And Visarga Sandhi is covered. Now you will see Vengana Sandhi. And uh, the, here, since it's, it's, the topic is Vengana Sandhi, again you will find, uh, in the suppose it's a sutra from the Tripadi, again you will see from 8 to 1 onwards. So, in between, in between there may be some sutras which are covered in uh, Visarga Sandhi. So, so that is there. That is all. That is, for example, that Sakara, Padanta Sakara replaced by Room. That is 8 to 60. So, here you may not, you will not see that. Here we are seeing only Vengana Sandhi. So, when that rule is applicable, then you have to go that table, right, and refer that. Again, follow the order. Okay, here the rules with regard to the Venjanam Sandhi are given. So this may not cover, this not this may, this doesn't cover the rules which are already been covered. That is they are related to Visarga Sandhi. So those rules you will not see. But when there is uh, an application of that rule, then you have to go there and apply. Okay. Understand what I'm saying? Yes, Guruji. Yes. <laughs> So now let us see the first one. Sayogantasya. So you have to help me out. Okay. First, let me explain what is this and then come back and see. Have you seen this rule before? Sayogantasya Lopaha, have you heard? And no, Kevarna, okay. Did I teach you with the Marut Shabda declension? Uh, not de yes. not declension, derivation. Not yes. declension. No, not derivation, Guruji. Okay. Declension. Just see, Marut Shabda is a simple Shabda. In fact, that is the first Shabda generally we. This is the context we teach. So you have learned Kriya Padra, right? Uh, the derivation of the, the verbs, the verbal forms. Vadigana, Adivadigana, etc. Yep. So now, the rules, what we are going to see, it is applicable in the, you will see applicability in, uh, of course, in the derivation of the verb, or any, in all the context, not only this. And you will see more in the Subhanta context. More in Subhanta context because I'm going to give more examples from Subhanta, Subhanta context. So therefore, uh, Subhanta Vidhis also I will introduce the rules related to Subhanta. What is Subhanta? Samapadam. Namapadam. Namapadam. Supantam. Subhantam. Namapadam. Supantam padam. Subhantam. That is Namapadam. So what is Sub? Supratya. How many pratyas are there? 21. 21. 21. Yes, 7, 8 into 3, 24. Or 21, you can say. 21. The last Sambodhana, you don't have to include. Why? Because it is same as Pratama. Um, so, 7, 3, 21. 21 Pratyas are there. And Sup refers to the... Sup is a Pratyahara, referring to all the Pratyas of the... the, uh, the all the Pratyas, all the 21 Pratyas. They are called Vibhakti Pratyas. It is called by the name Vibhakti. Yep. It is called by the name Vibhakti. Tiptasji, Sittasta, that those are also called by the name Vibhakti. So Vibhakti is a common name for both Thingpratyas as well as Supratyas. Please note, Vibhakti is a technical mm. term. Vibhakti mm. means it's a, it's a name, it's a Sanya. It is a Sanya. Mm. We say Pratama Vibhakti, Dvitiya Vibhakti. That is okay. That is Vibhakti that uh, Shabda has undergone change in... Uh, Super. Nominative forms, and that is Ekavachanam, one form, Dhyachanam, another form, Bhagavachanam, another form. So that is Vibhakti Pratyaya. 
Similarly, Tinganta Pratyas are also are called Vivakti Pratyas. So, Vivakti is a common name for both. So, mm -hmm. don't think Pratama Vivakti is a, therefore this is only Vivakti. In, uh, in uh, Tinganta, we don't use Vivakti name. Don't think that is not Vivakti Pratyas. It is also Vivakti Pratyas only. Here we say Pratama Vivakti. Translated as first case. Vitya Vivakti is second case. So, Vivakti is is loosely translated as case endings. Okay. It is fine. But Vivakti is a common name for both the Pratyas. You have to remember. Because I use the word Vivakti. Okay. Now, Marut plus. What is Pratama Vivakti? Pratyas. Su. 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 It is Su. Su. Sa, you should not, you should not say sa. Sa, when you say a, Ucharanartam, that is, a is that, a is Ucharya, a is Ucharya, so when Akara is said, then uh, Sakara plus a becomes, it's, that is not the Pratyaya. Sakara only, it is pure Sakara, only consonant. Here, O is there, O is what, what letter? It's a letter. It's a letter. So, therefore, you know, Anunasika Ach is it. it. Anunasika Ach. What is Anunasika Ach? Nasalized mm -hmm. vowels. Wherever it may be, nasalized vowels. Wherever it may be means what? Whether it be the Dhatu, the Dhatu Pata, you know, you have seen. Yep. Like Apadeshika Dhatu. Apadeshika Dhatu, very good. Gamlu, the Dhatu, right? Yep. What is the Lu? Lu is gamlu. It is dhatu actually. Lu is the it's a, it's a verbal. Lu is a verbal. First you have, you have to see Lu is a verbal. Anunasika verbal. Anunasika arch. Therefore, it is it. It, it means tasya lopaka bhavati. Disappears. Content is gam only. So it's a packing letter. Similarly, we have I'm just giving another form, another dhatu. Uh, two oshvi. See here, to wash me is Dhatu. Here, how many, the, what is the content of the Dhatu? Many its letters are there. What is the content? Takara. You have to peel the cover. Yes. Packing. Content is Shvi only. Two is its letter. It has got purpose. Okay, purpose. See, no its letters without purpose. Mm. If it is as no purpose, then purposelessness is a purpose. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, such just for some packing letter, some letter may be there. It has, may not have any purpose also. But if specific letters are there, it has got some purpose. Two has got some purpose. O, O is also ith letter. O, it is. Then Shvi, the E also ith letter. The content is Shvi. Okay. Then coming back here, the, so, the content is. Sakara. Sa Sakara. Okay, what is Marut? What is Marut? Pratipadikam. Very good. Very good. Okay, that is Pratipadikam, right? Hmm. Okay, let me tell some more things also. Have you heard the name Anga? Definitely you must have heard Anga. Yes. yes. What is Anga? That which precedes Pratyaya. That's all. That's simple. That which precedes a Pratyaya. That's a simple definition I gave. But that is Sutra Varanga also. Yasmat Pratyaya, Vili Tadari Pratyaya. And the, so don't worry about that. It is a, a very technical, highly technical definition. Complete definition that is. I just simply translated as that which precedes a Pratyaya. So Su is a Pratyaya. So what precedes the Pratyaya? Marut. Marut is the Anga. As well as Pratipadikam. It enjoys both mm -hmm. sanya. You can call mm -hmm. it as Anga. Like we call the Dhatu, Bhu Dhatu is the plus Tip Pratyaya. Right? Bhu is the Anga. anga. It gets Shap. Therefore, Bhu is the Anga for Shap. Bhu plus Shap is the Anga for Tip. With regard to Pratyaya, they get the Sanya, Anga. Similarly, with regard to Su, Marut gets the Sanya, Anga. Yeah. Right? So it is Pratipadikam. That is fine. Has got a sanya anga also. So, based on the pratipadikam, this anga also will undergo ka some karya. So, this anga will get certain name also. What name? For the sanya also, it will get. We will see that. 
Padasanya and Munma Sanya, Bhasanya, etc. We will see that. So that will undergo a certain change. Sandhi will happen. We will see one by one what's going to come. Okay. So just you know it here. This Maruti is a Pratipatikam, Takaram, Taha, Pullingaha, Marucham, Daha, Pratipatikam plus Suprataya. It's a, you'll get a Namapadam. Right? And because the Marut, the Pratipatikam precedes a Prataya, therefore this has, this has got another name, Anga also. So all these things you remember. Then Marut plus Sakara. The whole thing is what now? The whole thing is Padam. No, Padam. 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 The whole thing is a Padam. Padam. Prakriti is hmm. Marut, Prataya is Suprataya. The Prakriti Supadam. is Pratipadikam. And Supratya is added. So Suptingantam is a Padam. Padam. Yeah. So the Sakara is what Sakara? Padanta Sakara. Okay. Anyway, that is not required. Don't do. No, we, Padanta Sakara don't apply. Okay. You hmm. said Padanta Sakara. Okay. Now, Padanta Sakara. What will happen? Don't make yes. it a rule. Don't mm. make it a rule. Rue even yes. is repas. No, that mm. will not happen. Because that is in Tripadi, 8 to 66. Before entering into Tripadi, okay. Mm. Before entering into Tripadi, there is a, a rule. That is a prataya. A prataya, which is a one lettered prataya. I use a Sanskrit name, Ekal Prataya. Ekal Prataya is Eka Al. Al means what? Consonant. Um, Not Hal. Al. 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 Uh, both vowels uh, uh, and consonants. It means Al is a word, letter, right? Yes. It's a letter. One lettered mm -hmm. Prataya. So is one lettered prataya. Yes or no? Yes. So is one lettered prataya. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Sakara. Sakara plus who is it letter? After the removal of the packing letter. Yes. What the content is only one lettered prataya. Mm -hmm. So this as the name Apruktam. It's a technical name again. Apruktam. One lettered pratyaya is called Apruktam. Ekal pratyaya. I told you Ekal. Ekal is Ekal. Ekal means one lettered. It could be a vowel, it could be a consonant, it could be anything. One lettered must be, one let, the pratyaya must be one letter. Hmm. After the removal of packing, okay. Packing hmm. letters, it letters. So Ekal pratyaya. So Sakara is Ekal pratyaya. Right? Yeah. Very good. And it has got the name Apruktam. Ekal Pratya is called Apruktam. Apruktam. So I will call this as Aprukta Ekal Pratya. If it is called by the name Aprukta Ekal Pratya, you should follow. Aprukta yes. Ekal Pratya. One lettered Pratya. Aprukta is Ekal Pratya. I just call by the name Aprukta Ekal Pratya. Both are same only. Okay. I mean, two, two things are there. Yeah. Pratyam itself is Ekal Pratyam. So, Ekal Ekal Pratyam. Anyway, same only. Just uh, Pratyam is a technical name. Which is, which is nothing but Ekal Pratyam. Okay, now, there is a rule. What is that is? When Aprukta Ekal Pratyam follows a Pratipadikam, Ending with the consonant, right? Mm -hmm. And the Aprukta Ekal Pratya, if it happens to be a, a consonant, Hal. Now it is Hal. Mm -hmm. If it happens to be a consonant, then that will go. That will become Lopaha. Okay. The Hal. Uh, which is an apruptaya uh, kal pratyaya, following the pratipadikam ending with a yahal, Hal? will become lopa. You understand? Yes, yeah, the pra uh, the um, pratyaya will become lopa. Exactly. Yes, okay, okay I, I put it this way. 
ಅಪೃಕ್ತ 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 ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕಾಲ್ ಸೊ ಅಪೃಕ್ತ ಹಲ್ ಶಾಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಪೃಕ್ತ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಸೊ ಅಪೃಕ್ತ ಹಲ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಹಲಂತ ಅಲಂತ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪದಿಕ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಅಲಂತಂ ಅಲಂತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಲಂತ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪದಿಕ ರೈಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಲೋಪ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಲೋಪ ಎಸ್ ಜರೂರ್ ಅಪೃಕ್ತ ಹಲ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಲಂತಂ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಲೋಪ ದೋರ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ರೂಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ another information this is aside information this is required the rule is 6168 and it says 6168 why i am saying this it is not in tripadi okay mm. so before entering to tripadi this rule you have to apply if you enter tripadi this rule you cannot apply right yep yeah. so sakara <coughs> becomes lopaha in the sapada sapta adhyay itself of this aprakta al pratyaya so therefore you will get marut marut therefore you get marut that's why you get marut so yep. in all the alanta shabda you give any shabda you see for yourself any alanta shabda you take um you will see that marut vishwajit so read pulling the upanishad also shilinga shabda upanishad what is the upanishad it is dakarantaha ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸು ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಶ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ಅಪೃಕ್ತ ಪ್ರತಯ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹಲಂತ ದರ್ಬೋದ್ ಸು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಲೋಪ ಬೈ ದಿಸ್ ರೂಲ್ ದರ್ಫರ್ ಯುಲ್ ಲವ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಜಲಾಂ ಜಸವಂತ ಯು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಅಂಡ್ ಕರೀಕ್ಷ ಯು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಯು ದರ್ಫರ್ ಯುಲ್ ಲವ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಅರ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೂಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಲಂತ ಶಬ್ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ರೂಲ್ anyway this is not the rule uh, we are going to see uh, in the in the context of sandhi but this rule i am saying you remember this in contrast with this rule we are going to see sanyoganta silopah then only that will come clear okay now let us uh, let me teach another one uh, this is this is you understand atruk tekal pratyaya ಅಪೃಕ್ತ ಹಲ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಅಪೃಕ್ತ ಹಲ್ ಲೋಪಃ ಬಿ ಹಲಿ ಪರೆ ಅಲಂತ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪದಿಕೆ ಅಲಂತ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪದಿಕ ಉತ್ತರ ಅಪೃಕ್ತ ಹಲ್ ಅಲಹ ಲೋಪಃ ಫೈನ್ ದೆನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಂಯೋಗಾಂತ ಲೋಪಃ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಂಯೋಗಾಂತ there also lopaha is there there also lopaha will happen but what lopaha happens i'll tell you um, i'll give a tinganta example because this subanta example if i give now certain extra information i have to teach that uh, you may not be able to follow i will do that also without uh, i mean telling everything now i'll give subanta exam you see you know pat datu lang lakara roopam pratham purushah bhagu vachana what is the form tam ha uh, pratham purushah lang lakara purusha bhagu vachana roopam an what is the roopam of apatan very good what is that apatan 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 what is it apatan this langakara attagama comes okay fine attagama comes so pad dhatu then pad plus an pratyay is what the pratyay an 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 not an what is the original pratyay tittas ha tittas ji 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 ಜಿ ಸಾರ್ವಧಾತುಕ 
G will be replaced by Anna. G, G, will, G will be replaced by Anta. Anti. That's why you get Patanti. Patati, Patataha, Patanti. Langlakara, we will see. Anyway. Right? So, G is always, see, there's a rule. Jakara should be replaced by Jakara is replaced by Anta. Jontaha, and rule is there. Jakara mm. is replaced by Anta. So, G is there, becomes Anti. Okay. Understand? Mm. Yes? Yes, no. Yes. Now, content of what is a, it cannot anti cause any... becomes Latlakara, isn't it, Guruji? Yes. You will see that. Don't worry. Ah, oh, okay. The rule is, what is a Pratyaya? Tiptas G, right? Mm. Pratyaya is G mm. only. So, G is a, what will happen to Eden? That's what we are going to say. Okay. Jakara is replaced by Ant. Therefore, it is Anti. Yes. Mm. What will happen to this T? That is slowly we will see one by one. Okay. Mm. Hold on. Now, Shap is content is only A. Uh, so, it cannot uh -huh. cause any anger karya. Yeah. So, mm. this is what? Plus A uh, plus Anti, right? Yeah. Now, At plus, there's a, I will write like apat, okay. Apat plus I is apata, right? Apata mm. plus anti. anti. Mm. Now, apata plus anti is equal to what? A plus A will become apata. Apata anti. Pura rupa sandhi. Apata oh, anti. Good. Okay, very good. Pura, this atogune will happen. Apata anti, right? Mm. Yeah. In lang lakara, what happens is, This is a, again, you know, I won't expect you to remember this. This is only an example for this Sandhi rule. In Langlakara, what happens is the, please see the Pratyas. The Pratyas are there here. Tipta, Sri, Sipta, Sta, Vitma, Smas. Okay. Let me take the Latlakara Pratya. Tita, Anti, Sita, Hata. Nivaka Maha is the right. You say you take only a person body. Hmm. Now in T, what are the letters? Ta e. plus E. Now don't say ta. Takara, 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 plus, takara plus E. Takara plus E. Similarly, C is Sakara plus Takara plus E. Makara plus E. Takara plus E. Similarly, Anti is Akara plus uh, Nakara. Nakara plus Nakara plus Ikara plus Ikara. Now, what you do is for Langlakara to derive the form of the Langlakara, remove E. So T will, T will become Takara. C will become Takara. And me will become Makara. Anti will become Ant. 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 That is what you chant. Sakara tam an sakara tam ta am am comes that is something different. Makara only is that then a comes. We'll see that why it is that later. Don't worry about that. Okay. So it is makara only, right? Am. Mm -hmm. We removed e and after that a came. How it is we will see. Don't worry about that. But you see takara. Takara e has gone takara in uh, sakara madhyam purusha ekavachana and in bhaguvachana it is what ant, right? Um, uh. What happened to takara? That is what we are going to see. Oh. In Langlakara, what happens is on all the pratyaya, the E has to be removed. After the removal of E, so you will have what you will have? Apatanta. Apatanta. Now, this apatanta, is it a padam or not? It is a padam. No padam. doubt. It is a padam, right? Yeah. What is the end letter of the padam? Takara. Hal. 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 And the preceding letter is? Also Hal. Hal. Therefore, this is a conjunct consonant. Yeah. Yes or yes. no? Yes, it is. Yes. Now, you go mm. back to the rule. Mm. And the where the conjunct consonant is? End of the Padam. End of the Padam. End. Sanyogantasya means what? 
कंजंक्ट कंजंक्ट एट द द द द एंड 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 मींस पदम व्हाट 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 विल 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 हैपन 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 लोपा लोपा इट इट बोथ नकार बिकम नो लोपा इज ओनली only mm-hmm. one okay see there are two seats in the bus empty empty seats okay now i am the adesha and the seats are the stani the adesha me occupying the seat the stani okay where will i sit two seats are there can i sit on both the seats one leg on one seat another leg on seat mm-hmm. i can occupy only one seat right mm-hmm. because only one person two seats are available only one seat only i can occupy right mm-hmm. yes. lopa, lopa is only one it cannot replace or in the whole thing therefore last letter only it will replace mm-hmm. the takara is replaced by lopa it means takara becomes lopa yep. yes therefore what will you give apatan mm-hmm. apatan that is how you get apatan okay. okay 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 This is what Sanyogantasya Lopaha. Sanyogantasya Padasya. Please follow what I am saying in Sanskrit. Sanyogantasya Padasya Antima Varnasya Lopaha Bhavati. Lopa Desha Bhavati. Lopa is also an entity. It's a valid mm. one. It replaces mm. the last letter Takara. A button. Okay. So you get a button. Okay. So it has the condition is it should be a Padam. Hmm. Not only padam, padam or another condition is that we will see the sutra. I mean the, the rule later. I'm just giving the example for padanta example. Sanyogantasya padasya antima varnasya lo paga bhavati. Right? This all becomes. Mm-hmm. Now I'll give this is uh, thing and the example. I'll give subanta example. You may not understand everything in subanta. Don't worry. Don't scratch your head too much on this. We will see that later. I'm going to derive which shabda you want. Atman, Atma we can do or Rajan, Rajan we can do. Rajan will do, Guru Ji. Because Atma has got some more rules as well. Rajan shabda let us take. Rajan plus so what is the Pratama Vibhuti Rupam? If you know, remember. Raja. Raja. Not Raja. Raja. It is. Mm-hmm. Raja. Okay, we will see how it is. It is Aprakta Ekal Pratya. Following. Yeah. Hello. 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 Okay. So many things I have to teach here, but anyway, I will not do everything here. We will see that later when we see Subanta elaborately. Only mm-hmm. this much I will say. When this Pratya follows, what the Upadhat Nakara? What is Upadhat Nakara? Akara. 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 That Akara mm-hmm. becomes A. How it happens? Don't worry. That is out of scope. So I said it's all Subanta. It's all like Tinanta, Subanta related, out of scope. Just you know, because of the following pratyaya, the upada akara becomes dhirga, right? Rajans. This is only we required. Now we have Rajans, right? What is Rajans? So padam, padam, padam. Ante ki masti sanyoga. Sanyoga. Ante ki masti. फॉर्म राजा In this, that's why I said that's why I gave the thing and the example because the one the example many rules we don't know it's it's not possible see it's like a noodles if you take one thing so many things will come so okay. we have to understand only what is required because all the rules are interconnected so we cannot uh, discreetly distinctly understand a particular rule so whatever is required in this context that alone you take it other thing when time comes kala na bhavati okay so. Okay. Yes, so is pratama bhakti ek vachana pratya, tapratya kal pratya that follows the the nakara, and uh, the thing happens is upada dhirgatam happens. That is one thing you don't know that you don't have to know also. Don't worry. 
then rajans you get rajans is a padam now this is what padam sayoganta padam by our rule sayoganta sya padasya antima varnasya lopa bhavati sakara becomes lopa you will have rajan that's all rajan nakara also become lopa you get raja understand this is by 8323 that is what we saw now ruji yeah yes <laughs> can i can i confuse people more in the divadi gana we have rule number 7 jan datu mm. jan gets replaced by ja is that something similar here jan is replaced by ja is not similar that is different this is different <laughs> okay <laughs> all right thank you see Jan, how many letters are there in Jan? Jakara plus Akara plus Akara, Nakara. Nakara. Replaced by Ja. Ja. How many letters are there in Ja? Jakara and Akara. So you and your husband are boarding the bus. Two seats are there. Two people sitting in. Two seats over. The whole Jan is replaced by Ja, so there it is not a problem. Many Adesh, many many stani stani is of aneka many lettered stani and many lettered Adesha. Mm. After buying the whole, no problem, right? Whereas that's what I notice, right? Hello. Yeah, yeah, Guruji. Yes, Guruji. So I think that is what your doubt is. Yes or no? Or am I saying saying something else? No, here three letters have gone and only two are uh, remaining. Ah, uh, it's right? not like that. The entire they have to, no, it's not one 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 for each. <laughs> not like that. It is more than it is, it's a group. The group of letters is re replaced by group of stani. That is what I mean. Not not group of stani. That's not the right word. The group of letters which form the stani is replaced by the adesha, which is also formed by a group of letters. Hmm. Whereas in this context, what we are doing is. Sakara Lopa is only one. Is, that is also one, one, only one. Okay, and Stani here is cannot be the whole. It is the last letter only. Cannot be the entire Sakara. padam. Cannot be the whole Sayoga. It should be the last letter only. So that's why Sayoga antasya padasya. Okay, I get it. Otherwise, you understand like this: the last letter of the conjunct consonant will become Lopa. Simple. Oh yeah, that, the last letter of the con, the last letter of the conjunct consonant of the padam. Okay, very important. Padam. Another example when jal when jal follows, I will tell later when the contest comes. The a padam having the conjunct consonant at the end, the last letter of the conjunct consonant will become lopa. Lopa. Okay. That is that is what I have. In fact, I have English translation I have given there. Hmm. Okay. Now this is by A three twenty three. Now the question comes. Rajans is a padam, right? Hmm. Why don't you replace Sakara by Ru? Can we do it or not? No. This is not A three. Chame thang. This is A two. Okay. A two. A three is a problem. Huh? We can do it. A <laughs> two. Why? Because this padam to Sakara replaced by Ru is A two sixty six. That comes later, not. Oh, yeah, that's why I can't see the later. Uh, yes, therefore later sutra you cannot jump and apply. First, <laughs> so first is eight to twenty. That is applied. So when that is applied, so when it comes to eight to sixty-six, it will not see sakara. Yeah, it's low paha. So therefore, sakara cannot be replaced by no. It cannot see sakara. It is not there. Hmm. So that is therefore, even though the sakara is padanta sakara. It is not available for Rutvam for the the Sutram eight to sixty six in that order. Okay, so eight to twenty three will make it Lopa. Therefore, mm. only you don't see Visarga. Therefore, Raja. There is no Raja. Raja ha. Like Rama ha, it is not Raja ha. Raja only. Understand? Yes. Yes. Okay. I think this much is enough. I given one example. Tinganta. Other example. Subanta. Mm. And this is another rule I taught. Why? Because 
here also marut plus su maruts you have right is it a padam or not it yes it's padam mm. and sayoga tase padasya lokaha this rule can be apply it can apply yes. but yes. there is a rule which is available in sapada sapta that, that you apply only if it is not yes. applicable then you go to tripadi 6168 is very well applicable here yes therefore we apply is it mm. applicable here in rajan shabda please see that 6168 is it applicable here if you see apurte kal pratya in fact it is applicable here okay i think i should have is it 6168 wait not not um, 8 to 23 it's applicable here so i should give some other example it is applicable eka, here eka uh it is rajan plus su this becomes uh, lopa which is 6168 okay sorry i should give some other example which also becomes applicable what example i'll give i have to take some other example where this is not this is also by 6168 only okay sorry i'll give a round example um i'll give some other example one tinganta example i gave now i'll give some subanta subanta example problem is many rules will come so you may not uh, know it um let me see what i can give anyway i'll give one example again there also problem will be there you may not understand everything but rajan shabda is not a good example sorry it is it a uh, 6168 will apply the sakara itself will go away yes <coughs> because the pratipadikam is alanta pratipadikam and this is ekal pratyaya following that will become lopa okay now give i'll give another example so please um, consider this for 6168 again okay the same as the example for marut shabda i gave similarly it is also you can take it here as an example now i will give the example for sayogandha chalopaha again i will take some other shabda maybe uh, you may not you may not understand you will learn many things it's okay but only that part where this rule applied that alone you will see vidvas plus su you know the word vidvas from that we get the vidvas is sakaranda shabda we get the padam prathama vakti ekavachanam vidwan you get vidwan vidwan is pandita right vidwan pandita mm-hmm. so that is derived from the pratipadikam vidvas sakaranta pratipadikam sakaranta pullingaha vidvas shabda now with vidvas plus su if you take it this sakara now here what happens is please see here here also sakara ekal pratyaya following halanta pratipadikam see here here both very interesting both will apply here what will happen is it will get nummagama it will get some nakara is comes just before sakara how it comes don't ask okay out of scope you will you will get one nakara comes that is step number 2 then after that what happens so vidvans plus sakara then then that that letter before nakara it gets dirga i don't expect mm-hmm. you to understand everything here just know this just follow uh, what i'm saying what what happens that's how it happens okay so first is nakara comes before sakara then the letter be, be, before the nakara that is akara becomes dirga now we have vidwans plus sakara from here only we have to start the example vidwans if i say vidwans then you will look for the shabd, shabd vidwan shabda it is not there only vidwas is there vidwas the form of vidwas has changed to vidwans now vidwans plus sakara this is apurtaya kal pratyaya following a hal therefore what will happen the sakara lopa 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 that for you love vidwans now vidwans is what now vidwans is what the padam padam yes it is a padam a padam ending with 
the conjunct consonant. The consonant. Therefore, the last letter will become Lopa. Lopa. This one you get. That is what we get. Okay. So, Rajan Shabda, you don't apply. You cannot get Rajan Shabda. Because Rajan Shabda, you know what happens if you apply Sayyogantasya Lopaha, you are skipping 6168, Sapada Sapta Jaya Sutra. That is not correct. You cannot skip that. Sapada Sapta Jaya Sutra, by the application of that itself, you get Raja, means you have to be satisfied with that. Don't go to Tripathi. In Vidwans, what happens? We have applied this. 6160, that is Sakara Lopa, we have done. After that, we get Vidwans is a Padam. There it is, a Padam is ending with a conjunct consonant. Therefore, here you cannot apply 6168 because Vidwans is a Padam. The Sakara is a part of the, the part of the Anga, the part of the Pradi, it has become part of the, 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 uh, the Anga. So, there it is not a Sakara, is not a Pratya. It's a Padanta Sakara. And also, it's a conjunct part of the conjunct consonant at the end of the padam. So, therefore, you apply this sutra, Sayogantasya, Lopaha. Therefore, applying that, you get the form Vidwa. Understand? Guruji? Yes. I have a doubt here. First, the Pratipadikam is become Lopaha by a different rule. Not Pratipadikam, so, Lopaha. Uh, not Pratipadikam, the pra, um, Pratchaya. So, Pratchaya Sakara is becoming. Aprutta hal pratyaya. Yeah. Aprutta hal pratyaya is becoming lopaha first. Mm. And then it still continues because of uh, uh, Su was once present there. No, it's, it's not still, continuing. It is just gone. It's because gone. Then how come this uh, Sakara <laughs> of Vidwans again is uh, going away? We are not following the step. Vidwas mm. is a pratipadikam. Yeah. Then because of this, you get Vidwans, that also you leave it out, it comes, not required. Vidwans, you get Vidwans plus Sakara. From here you start. Mm. Here Aprakthaya Kal Prataya. That yeah. following yeah. Uh, the Pratipadikam ending with a consonant. Therefore, this becomes Lopaha. Mm. If it becomes Lopaha, what do you have? Vidwans only. The same thing. Vidwans only I'm writing. Ah, okay, okay. I thought even this, uh, uh, when you said Vidwan, uh, this Sakara also goes, I was Sakara wondering. also goes away. The Pratya Sakara goes away by Aprukta Ekal Pratya Lopaha. Rule, okay. This Sakara is mm -hmm. not a Pratya Sakara. This Sakara is at the end of the Padam and also part of the conjunct consonant at the end. That mm -hmm. Sakara goes away by our current rule. Yes. Sayyogantas mm -hmm. Lopaha. Understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. there are two rules here now. There are two rules, yes. Yeah, Both in, the rules are applied. Vidwan, there are two rules. Can you just write those rule numbers next to those words, please, Guruji? Oh, we want to write it here. Okay, this is yes, 6168. Yes, yes, please, please. 6168. Just write the number. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Then you have this Vidwans. 8223. Vidwans is a Padam. Therefore, here you apply 8223. This ah, is okay. a good example where that... both are applied. Yes. Yeah, now it makes uh, clear. Whereas in Rajan Shabda, okay, well, again, that's, uh, by mistake, I've given the Shabda. There are only 6168 is applied. Anyway, that is, you can take it as an example for Aprukta Ekal Prasthaya becoming Lopaha following a Alantam. Hmm. Hmm. So, therefore, to explain the Yoga and the Lopaha that example, <coughs> I have to teach you this Aprukta Ekal Prasthaya. That is incidental. Our focus is not on this. But anyway, hmm. this rule, you will find it used for the derivation of Pratama Vibhakti Ekavachanam. So that is also, and we can note it. It's mm -hmm. not covered in the Sandhi chart. This is an aside rule, we can note. Okay. Now coming back to this. If you see the Sandhi chart now, Antyavarna of a conjunct will become Lopa when followed by Padanta or Jal. Jal example, leave it. When it comes, we will see. This is not only for Padanta, even when followed by Jal. Jal is what? 4, 3, 2, 1 and sibilance. When followed by a Jal letter. When followed by a Jal, Jali Pare, this Lopa will happen. That example we will see when the context comes, we will see. All the examples cannot be seen because the, the, the rules are there, many. So many rules will come when you apply this. 
So in the context one, you will see. So for this, you can take this example. So what I will do is, here one more rule just I will add. This Aprukta uh, Ekal Pratya I will add because for this example it is required. Hmm. Not only for this example, sometimes you will confuse this uh, this Sayyavantasya, uh, no, that, uh, that Lopaha directly will apply without applying this Aprukta Ekal Pratya. So, the Aprukta Ekal Pratya, since it is in Tripad, uh, Sapada Saptadhyayi, that has to be applied. That rule, you cannot miss it. So, mm -hmm. therefore, I will just mention that rule. Though it is not required here, it is not the focus, but for the sake of our understanding, and I write it here. Aprukta Hal Aprukta Hal Pratyasya Lopaha Bhavati Kada Hal Aprukta Hal Pratyasya Lopaha Bhavati Alaha Uttarasya. You just see, this is my wording. Uh, whether you follow. Alaha Uttarasya Aprukta Hal Pratyasya Lopaha. Understand this? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the vibhakti of Alaha? Alaha Pratama. Hmm? What is the vibhakti of Alaha? Panchami. Stani. It is Panchami, not Stani. Panchami. Uttarasya following. Sashti. Following. Alaha Uttarasya following what? Apruktahal Pratyaya, that is a Stani. Pratyasya, Stani, Shashti Bhakti. Yes. Ekal Pratyaya, one-lettered Pratyaya which follows that will become Lopa. Follows what? Follows the consonant. Alanta Pratipadikam. Alaha is Alanta Pratipadikam. Alanta Pratipadikat Uttarasya. Hmm. Pratyasya, Apruktahal Pratyasya. The Apruktahal Pratyaya following the Alanta Pratipadikam will become Lopa. So let me write it. Aprukta Al Prataya following the Alanta Pratipadikam following the Alanta Alanta means Pratipadikam only. What else could be? Anyway, yeah. I write Alanta Pratipadikam will become okay. Lopa. Example, whatever example I gave here, I just copy paste it. Rajan, yeah. etc. Marut. Okay, correct. So now you can see that. As I told, this example is only for uh, this example. This this rule is only to only to only to apply it first before the application of this Sayyogantha Silopa, which is in Tripadi. Yep. So to make you aware that this rule is there in Sapar Saptadi, that is why I'm adding it here. There's a good, no other purpose. Because I myself have con get got confused with this many times. I missed this rule. Should not be missed, okay? Because it is 6168 to be applied first. This rule is a big, big rule. Algi, Abhyam, Dirga, Suti, Siya, Pruttam, Hal. But what I will do is, for our understanding and for our, uh, you know, application or whatever we have seen the example, with regard to the, that I will write the, simplify the rule. I'm just modifying the rule, okay. Algi, Abhyam, Dirga, Su, Algi, Abhyam, Dirga, Suti, Siya, Pruttam, Hal. This is not the actual rule, but for our understanding and modifying it. When we grow further, that time uh, I will write. So, Alaha, Su, Alaha, Su, Su referring to that, uh, this, this Aprakta, Su, Aprakta, that is su pratya which is a apruktam su apruktam hal 
Lopaha. Please see whether you understand. Do you understand this rule? Okay. What is su? Su is apruktam. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. It's a ekal pratya, right? And that yes. is a ehal, a consonant. Aprakta ekal pratya, which is a consonant. And here the, con the rule is mm. su. Su is tamal bhakti ekavachana pratya. That becomes lopaha when following a al. al. This alaha is panchami. The same mm. alaha I have written here. Alaha panchami. The su pratya following the alanta pratipadikam becomes lopaha. Okay. This is what is required for us. That's only that much only I have written. The sutra is algi, abhyam, dirga, suti, si, apruktam. So many words are there. Those are not required. Okay. Those are not required now. For us, not required now. We'll see that later. See, if I write everything, then we may get confused. That's why I'm not writing it. So, Marut plus this thing. So, here. The Sakara goes away by this 6168. Therefore, you will have Marut. So, Apruktahal following. Okay, this is already done. Upanishad, another example. There also, you will see. So goes away, that Sakara goes away, you love Upanishad. And if you want further, you have to apply Upanishad Jalam Jashonte. This is by 8 to 39. Remember that Jashovidi, you know, you know it very well. Yes, mm -hmm. And uh, Karicha is optional. Upanishad also you will get. What is the Sutra? Remember, remember? Oh, I think I have not taught you. I taught you. Maybe. Sutra number three. Okay. That the jalam that the padanta jal letter will be replaced by corresponding kar letter, which is karicha. Karicha. Therefore, Upanishad. You will see that. Anyway, it's going to come. We'll see that. This is Marut is one example. Upanishad. Second example. Then Rajan Shabda, another example. That you see. Rajan. How Dirga and Dalapanza, it's out of scope. Don't worry about that. Here, what happens? 6116, where it is applied, that alone we please note. So, Rajan you get, and Rajan is, becomes Raja. These are some of the examples. Now, for this example, our rule is, I will give the Apatan example, as well as the Vidvas example. I'll just copy paste it one minute. Please see now. So, lung rupam of lung rupam of patdaku. Lung rupam of patdaku. So, lung rupam, atagama comes, we know. And uh, one extra thing here is, the lung lakara, that e goes away. Jakara is replaced by ant. That is one rule that I have mentioned here. Jakara is equal to ant. After that, e goes away. That you have to remember. That is just thing that happens for lung lakara. So, apatanti, then apatant. Now, apatant is a padam. Because apatant is a padam, you can apply this rule. They are applying this rule. Sayogantha Silopaha Padanta Padante Stasya Sayogantha Sya and Timabandasya Lopaha Bhavati 8 to 23 is applied here. Similarly, uh, this is thing on the example. Similarly, one Subanta example, Vidvas is a Shabda. So Vidvas we get some on Numahama because of that becomes Vidvans. After Numagama, Upada Dirgatam happens, therefore Vidwans, that are, from there alone you focus, that's what we are interested. Then this Sakara is Aprakta Ekal Pratya, 6168, it goes away. Then you have Vidwans, Vidwans is a Padam. Padante Stitasya, Sayyogantasya, Antima Varnaha, Sakara, Tasya, Lopaha Bhavati, 8 to 23 is applied. The Sakara is not converted into Ru because 
before 8 to 66, 8 to 23 will remove it. Therefore, it is not available for 8 to 66. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this with the example, this chart is more complete. Okay. Now we have done this sutra. Next one. Now, next one you see. Sakara, Kakara, at the beginning of the conjoined consonant, when followed by a gel, our padanta will become lopa. Here also, the previous rule, please note this. I will give an example for padante, not for gel. Gel, as I told, when the context comes, I will tell you. Gel. In the sutram, gel is not there. That is, gel comes as anurti. That's from the previous sutra. Jali pare padante va. When gel follows, or the conjoined consonant at the end of the padam, then the antiyavarna, the last letter, will become lopa. So gel context, when it comes, you will see. Don't worry about it now. Now, next sutra number 30 says, Sakara Kakara, the beginning of a conjunct. What does it mean? They start with Sakara or Kakara. So, that is a conjunct consonant. Okay. Assume that is at the end of the padam. And the beginning of the conjunct consonant, yeah. if it is sakara or kakara, then what will happen? Lopaha. That sakara or kakara will become lopaha. Is it sakara or kakara will become lopa? Please read the English one. Oh, it's no, again. Followed by gel or padante. That's okay. Followed by gel or padante, that is fine. But what becomes lopa? That is important. What becomes lopa? Uh, what is that? Eka. Skoho Samyoga. Sakara Kakara at the beginning of the conjunct. What will become Lopa? Sakara Kakara will become Lopa. Sakara Kakara will become Lopa. Don't think that. Padanta will become lopa. Okay, there is no padanta here. Don't think, they may think that, that uh, the last letter will become lopa because that is what we have been seeing. The last letter will become lopa. Yeah, that's what I said also, Guruji. Sakara or Kakara will become lopa. Oh, sorry. In, okay, in, okay. In, the conjunct, in the conjunct, if it is starting with sa or ka, yes. uh, leaving the second letter, the first letter, which is Sakara or Kakara, will become lopa. Yes, yes. That is okay. Sorry. It's correct. Okay. No, it's okay, Guruji. Yes. So let's, I'll give one example. Again, here also, uh, the problem is we don't have many rules. I'll just give uh, an example. So, what example? Vishwa. I have not taught you Nishta Pratya. Okay, we'll see that later. Vishwam. Nishta Pratya. Okay. So I'll take one no, example. No, Vishwam Guruji, universe, Vishwam. No, no, Nishta. Anyway, anyway, no problem. I'm taking this Dhatu, Drish Dhatu. Drish. Not a Dhatu, okay. It is a Pratipadikam. How it is a Pratipadikam? See, it's a, as I told you, it's like a noodle. See, if I take one thing, so many things will come up. Uh, I will explain that and then I will see. I will explain uh, this first and then so that you will understand what is it I'm talking. <laughs> see, after this, we will see the another important topic, Kritantas, important topic, widely used Kritantas. You know, uh, Kritavan, Patitavan, Gatavan, yeah. Patitaha, all those Gattva. are Kritantas only. Gatva, uh, they are all Kritantas, yes. Okay, yeah. there is one Pratyaya called Kvip Pratyaya. One Pratyaya is called Kvip Pratyaya. Kvip Pratyaya. Where uh, I tell you what it is. So, mm, one example is um, uh, just a minute. Uh, what is that? Just familiar one I'm thinking. Pipratya. Uh, it is Pipratyanta. Just a minute, I'll just check any familiar example.
okay in the you know the word upanishad okay, that is a very best example what else could be you know how the word upanishad comes how the word upanishad here shadra dhatu upa is upasarga ni is another upasarga and the dhatu is sad dhatu upa plus ni plus sad okay upa and ni are upasarga you know upasarga prefixes yes guru ji gachati agachati arati ha harati praharati viharati samharati upasargas and sad is dhatu okay now the upadeshika roopam of the dhatu is shad dhatu okay in fact it is shadlu this is the actual dhatu where it is dhatu pata right upadeshika dhatu likara is it letter you know likara is it letter yes or no annasika ach annasika ach is it letter no. shadlu dhatu gatti visharana avasadana in that meaning the dhatus are used this this dhatu is used the same dhatu is there in the word upanishad it's a beautiful word upanishad that is upanishad is destroyer of ajnanam by gnanam by upa upa is samipa ni is nischaya by going near by getting nischaya gnanam ajnanam is destroyed that is the meaning of the word upanishad so that is derived from the dhatu shadal which shadal dhatu lu is anunasika that is a it letter now what is the content shand content is shand right dhatu beginning with mudhani shakara what will happen you know yes dhatu shakara what will happen shakara shakara gets replaced by shakara shakara you know it right i taught you yes yes guruji very good that is what sadhi is here so this in the place of mudhani shakara shakara will come so what type of shakara is that adesha sakara this adesha sakara preceded by the letter e then mm-hmm. what will happen in ko remember preceded by in or ku yes what will happen to sakara mudhani sakara mudhani mudhani sakara shatam will happen that's what shatam is yes. mm-hmm. this adesha sakara will be replaced with mudhani sakara therefore upanishad will come that's all get the upanishad word understand yes guys See, Shatta Mandal. Everything you have to remember. I don't know whether I taught. I forgot whether I taught you all those things. I taught. I think Shatta Mandal. Yes, yes Guru Ji. Very good. Yes, so this is Sakara is Prate Sakara. This is Adesha Sakara. This is a Datu. Okay. How can be a Prate Sakara? This is a Datu. But you have got Sakara here, and that Sakara is Adesha Sakara because it has come in the place of Mudhani Sakara. Yes, Therefore, Guruji. Adesha Sakara. The rule is the Sakara of. of the type adesha or the pratyaya pratyaya sakara when preceded by innarku will undergo shatto therefore only mudhani sakara has come upanishad the word is derived okay yes or no yes understand right okay now this is not it over upa plus ni plus shad so shad is a dhatu how can it becomes a just become nama padam without adding any pratyaya any pratyaya mm-hmm. the question comes or not yes guru ji yes upa is upasarga ni is another upasarga dhatu is sad dhatu let me write sad after that i will do shatto it must have some pratyaya to convert mm-hmm. this into a pratipadikam and that pratipadikam when it is declined the form is upanishad understand yes mm-hmm. dhatu mm-hmm. can you decline the dhatu in a, in a shabda rupam no dhatu has got kriya padam shabda has got nama padam how can you convert a dhatu into a into a nama padam can you convert you yes. understand what i'm saying can you add su avaj samoch stabyam vis dos pratyas supratyas can you add yes or no can you add this pratyas to the dhatus No, no, no. 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 Dhatus cannot take these pratyas. 
only dhatu can take only tip test ji sip test those pratya right yes mm. therefore you have to convert this dhatu into your pratipadigam to add supratyas understand okay, okay. Hmm. that is achieved by the addition of the pratyas okay. the list of pratyas called krit pratyas so that is a topic we are going to see after sandhi so it's sometimes later okay don't not immediately ye dhatu can be converted into a pratipadikam by the addition of krit pratyas so krit krit is a name okay this is a name don't think this is a pratya this is a name of the pratya so what you get is krudantam krutantam is krudantam 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 will become pratipadikam yes Mm-hmm. Now this pratipadigam is derivable. You can derive it by adding supratyas. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yes. Yeah. If you ask important pratyas, I would say these are the important pratyas which we are going to see: ta pratyaya, tavatu pratyaya, shatru pratyaya, lip, shanach pratyaya, lip pratyaya. Okay, twa pratyaya, tumun pratyaya. So many are there. From the dhatu, we can derive so many. Kridantas, pratipadikams, and that is declinable. Some are not declinable, like tumun, etc. These are un- derived declinables, indeclinable. Sorry, derived indeclinables. Okay, one pratya is there. This pip, pip is one krit pratya, and the beauty of this pratya is this takara. I am writing the. Content the the letters of the pip pratya takara plus takara plus e plus takara plus takara the e is aruna sika touch okay the beauty here is all the letters of the pratya are hit letters takara is hit ikara is also hit takara also hit hit takara also hit so our content is zero. It's called oh. zero suffix. Zero. <laughs> like in English, we have suppose eat plus er. What do you have? Eater. Eater. Yeah. Eater. Referring to the person who does the job of eating. So er yeah. pratyaya, right? Yes. Hmm. Then walk plus er. Walker. You get walker. Walker means the one who does the job of walking. Walking. Okay. Do plus er. Doer. Doer, very good. Cook plus er. Cooker. Cooker. <laughs> <laughs> Cook plus er is what? One who does the job of cooking is cook. Cook only. Cook only. Mm. What about to yeah. er? Lopa ha abod. Yes. It has become <laughs> lopa. This is zero suffix. Yes. Okay. Understand. Mm. So mm. similarly, in Sanskrit, we also we have. The content is zero, zero suffix. Understand? Okay. okay. So it's a valid pratya. It's a zero suffix pratya. Its job is it converts this dhatu into a ekrudantam. So this pratya in in Upanishad Bhashya, Shankar Bhagavad Pada says how the word Upanishad comes in the beginning. We have seen that in Kata Upanishad as well as in Mandaka Upanishad, Upani Purvasya, Sade Dhato Ho this pratya antasya. उपनिषद रूप निष्पद्य आचार्य शुंग उपसर्ग उप अडिशन पिप्रतय उपनिषद नौ पिप्रतय प्रत्यय दिसो सफिक्स वाट डज इट डू इट कन्वर्ट दिस उपनिषद इज अदंता इट्स अ प्रातिपदिक नौ उपनिषद प्रातिपदिक यू कैन डिक्लाइन दट understand yes. mm. yeah okay this is this is some um, this i wanted to just tell you this okay now why so many kada kata is required uh, because for this one sloka sanyasya <laughs> all these informations are required anyway i could have skipped this rule also uh anyway it is there in the order that's why i'm saying it now <laughs> interesting guru <Guruji. laughs> now you take the brushi dhatu now coming back to the original this is where i started brushi dhatu 
in fact, I don't teach like this. This is all going about down, down, down there and coming back to this route because I'm following the krama in the sutra in the chart. Therefore, I'm saying this. Actually, those krama I made after giving after giving the, all the background. Then, then I made that uh, chart. But uh, here the it is not doesn't happen that way. Anyway, if you follow, I'm happy. Okay. Now, brishdhatu you take you add with pratyah. So, what you love? You love? Yes. You love Pratipatikam, right? Trudanta? Yes. Why Brishya? I think because I want Kakara, I want uh, that Skoho, that Sakara, Kakara I need. That's why I took this Datu. That was the reason. Okay. So, uh, one minute. Let me take this or someone, something else. Um, or uh, or I will take a simple one. Why this? Okay, I will take a simple one. You know, you know the, the Dhatu, Takshati, the Kriyapan, Takshati. Hmm. What is Takshati? Takshaka, Carpenter, Carpenter right? Uh, that is a best one, simple one. Let us take that one. Takshdhatu. From Takshdhatu, you get Takshati, Takshataha, Takshanti, Takshakaha, Takshanti. That's it, Takshakaha, Takshati. Carpenter, Carpenter. Takshakaha, Takshati. Right? Now, Takshdhatu. Takshati you get by the addition of Taksh plus what pratyaya? For that you have to know which gana is that. Taksh. Sure. It is uh, the pratyaya comes. So I think Takshdhatu must be in the. I just uh, guess it must be in the Tudadi gana. Uh, sorry, this is in Churadigana. Uh, Churadigana, um, not Churadigana. Takshayati it becomes. It is in Vadigana. Take the first Gana. Takshdatu. It is in first Gana. Takshu, yes. It is in first Gana. Okay. So, Taksh plus Tip. It will become Takshati. So, Taksh plus Shap plus Tip. You have Takshati. Right? This is the Kriya model. Now, same Takshdatu I am taking. I am going to deliver. A pratipadika by the addition of this zero suffix kipratya. So adding this, what you have? Taksh. taksh. What is taksh now? What is taksh? Taksh is a pratipadika. It's a kridanta, right? It's a kridanta, therefore it is a pratipadika. Yes, no? yes. Yes. Taksh plus script. You will have. Taksh only. Now, mm. Taksh is the Pratipadikam. Mm. What is the last letter of the word? Conjunct consonant. Ka and Sha. What Shakara is that? Mudhanishkara. Mudhanishkara. Therefore, Shakara Antaha, Pullingaha, right? Okay. Taksh Shabdaha. Mm. Like the Upanishad we do. We did know Dakarantaha, yeah. Strelingaha, Upanishad Shabda. Mm -hmm. Similarly, Shakarantaha, Murdhane Shakara, Shakarantaha, Pullingaha, Taksh Shabda. You know what is the meaning of Taksh? Taksh means the same Takshaka only, carpenter. One who does mm -hmm. the action of carpenting is called Taksh. Taksh. Mm -hmm. Now we are that we are going to de derive it. Taksh Shabda. Okay. That's it. Now we are coming to Subanta. Okay, see that. Now here also, I am not going to derive all the forms. I am interested only in, in the application of this rule. That is Tritiyavibhati I am applying Tritiyavibhati Bhivachana. What is Bhyam? Bhyam is a Pratyaya. What Pratyaya? Please see the Sujas. Bhavachana Guruji. Bhavachana. Bhavachana. So, Bhyam is there. I take Bhyam. Why? Because there this rule is applied. That is why I am taking that. Okay. Now, Taksh plus Bhyam. What is Taksh? Taksh is Kakara plus Murdhanya Shakara. That is Kakara, Murdhanya Shakara is there plus Bhyam. Right? Here you have to remember one more thing. 
so many things are involved in that. Uh, by mistake, I think I have come to this rule. Anyway, you please note this, this tak plus shaka, that is the, the prakriti, the anga. This is anga, right? Anga with regard yeah. to the pratyaya. Yeah. This anga mm -hmm. enjoys the sanya padam. You can note this enjoy sanya padam. Not so only, not only subantam is a padam, this also technically enjoys the pada status. I'll just tell you something more on that. Context will come, I'll tell you. You can please note this. 3233, 4243, 5253, and 73. Then these pratyas follow mm -hmm. the anga, that is a pratipadigam. The pratipadigam enjoys the sanya padam. Please okay. note. Not only supting and tampadam, then these pratyas follows. Then also, the, just the, the pratipadigam itself enjoys the pada sanya. Therefore, the rules related to pada can be applied. Padamta. It can padamta. That is what we want. Understand? Yes. Okay. With this, now you go back and see that derivation. So now takshi is what? Pada. Padasya and tekimasti conjunct consonant asti, right? Sayoga. Yes. And sayoga having kakara as the first letter of the conjunct, right? Yep. So mm -hmm. therefore, by our rule, sakara kakara at the beginning of the conjunct and the conjunct consonant at the end of the padam, then mm -hmm. what will happen to that kakara? Lopaha. Lopaha. That's all. It becomes lopaha. Therefore, you will have tash plus bhyam. Yeah. That is not it over. After that, some other rule will apply. That we will see later. Don't worry about this. We are not interested in that. Otherwise, the whole function we have to derive, it's difficult. Here itself, many things I take it, I just took it for granted. I just telling this is a padam, enjoy the padam status. That you have to just, the information you have to understand. How it is, again, we will see in detail later, more elaborately. So therefore, tash plus bhya. After that, something will happen. Chakara will be replaced. I think you know that. This shakara is a padam, right? This uh -huh. tash is a padam. Uh -huh. Padanta shakara, what will happen? Replaced by shakara. No, 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 no. Tash, this, uh -huh. this you can tell. This is, you know, this is not difficult. Tash is a padam. Padante, what will happen? Jal letter is there. I told everything. So it will be lopaha again? Lopaha. No, 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 no. Padante jal varnaha asti. It will be replaced by jash letter. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jalam jashante, tad, tad plus bya, tad byam, that is the form. Oh. So you get the, the word tad byam. So taksh becomes tad byam. Tad byam is the tritya vavakti divachanam, chaturti divachanam, panchani divachanam rupam. So here, what we did is this kakara has become lopa, which is the first letter of the conjunct. Follow this, a uh, yes, lot of information or uh, in this involved in this explanation of this example. Anyway, uh, let me summarize what I told. Whatever the uh, the information are there, you know, all the information are not required. Only, I mean, for your understanding, this some this, this information will be useful later. When you see Kridanta topic, that time this information will be useful. So that at least uh, you can, you know, you will not be completely blank. So you will understand. Not only here in the further examples, the same, uh, the Pradanta, etc. will come. So the time also, this explanation will be useful. I have not dealt elaborately, just uh, a, a very, very, uh, you know, very brief introduction is yes. introduction to Pradanta. So again, let me summarize what I said. Sad is a dhatu, Shadru dhatu. Here the Satara has come by Adesha. Therefore, this uh, sadha, this sarpas sakara is subject to more than shakara when it is preceded by in, when it is preceded by in arku, and this sadha dhatu having the upasarga upa and ni, this is a dhatu, just a dhatu that can be converted into pratipadikam by the addition of the pratyas called krut pratyas. Therefore, krutantam becomes pratipadikam. So, krutantams are derived pratipadikams from dhatus. 
Okay. Kridantams are derived pratipadikam from the Datu. From the Datu, we know Tinganta, Triyapadam can be derived. Now, by the addition of Tuk Pratyas, we can derive Pratipadikams, derived Pratipadikam. Now that Pratipadikam, the derived Pratipadikam, you can decline. You can decline. Now, this one among the Kirk Pratyas, there's a special Pratyaya, Kirk Pratyaya, which is a zero suffix. It is a zero suffix. Mm. So, zero suffix is the job of this Kipratya is convert a Dhatu into Kridanta. That's all. Yep. The job of the Kipratya is just to convert the Dhatu into a Pradipadika. Mm. Once it becomes a Pradipadika, it is declinable. Now, therefore, Taksh plus Kip will become Taksh. Now, Taksh is Shakaranta, Bhodhani Shakaranta. Now, when you decline, Tritya Vritti, uh, Chaturthya Panchavi, Vadan may be Jeevachanam. Then Taksh plus Bhyam. Bhyam is a Pratya. So, as I told, the 3, 2, 3, 3, 4, 2, 4, 3, 5, 2, 5, 3, as well as 7, 3. The, with regard to these pratyas, the pratipadiyam enjoys the status of being a padam. Padasanya, it enjoys. Now, because it is a padam, and padanta ending with the conjunct consonant, and the beginning letter of the letter is, beginning of the conjunct is takara, that takara becomes lopaha, therefore tash plus bhyam. After that, Jalam Jashanta is applied, you get Tadbyan. Okay. Hmm. Now, now go, go back to the rules. Sakara, Kakara, the beginning of the conjunct. Beginning of the conjunct and the conjunct is at the end of the Padam. Okay. Or followed by Jal. Again, Jal example I have not given. You will see when the context comes. So, the conjunct consonant at the end of the Padam, having Sakara, Kakara at the beginning, will become lopaha. That is what skoho. What is skoho? Sakaraha. Sakaraha. Sakaraha skoho. Skoho lopaha bhavati. Sakara, mm -hmm. kakara, the beginning of the... The example also, I gave an example of the kakara example. Sakara example, Actually. I can give, but I don't want to give more and confuse you now because a lot of other information will come. Yes. You will see that later. So, Sayoga Adyogo. Sayoga, Sayoga Adyogo. Sayoga Adi means what? Adi is beginning. Adi of the Sayoga at the end of the Padam. Okay. The Sayoga at the end of the Padam, having the Adi Varna Sakara Kakara, will become Lopaha. This is 8 to 29. Okay. I think this is a little difficult for you. So many things are there. Try to understand this. Even uh, if there is vagueness, don't worry. Again, we will, we will we are going to see the same rule. Hmm. Later in some other context, it will come. That time we will see. So many questions will be there. How you say this is a padam, how we, how we enjoy the padam status, etc. All those top topics we will cover in Subanta section. Subanta, when we cover, that time I will teach you. Or uh, maybe in some place, some context, I will explain that. Specifically that. That information will be useful. I will explain that. So, have we confused you sufficiently? No, Guruji. Uh, we just have to do the homework. That's all. Yes. We will go through it once again. So, see. Uh, the Sutra I could have skipped anyway. I also don't know this. So many things will come in. It is in the chart. I just go by the chart. Okay. Anyway, so we'll stop here. Any doubts? Please ask. <laughs> we'll have to go through the yes, recording. Yes, recording once again. Please, uh, yeah, please note the step by step, whatever it is there. Then yes. uh, we'll understand. Okay, so we'll stop here. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnad Purnamada Chare. Pur Nasya Pur Namadhaya Pur Nameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Pyod Maha Harihi Om Dhanyavad Guruji Dhanyavad Guruji Dhanyavad Guruji